This is my church, and I'm not going anywhere, he said. This congregation member's statement was meant to deliver a message to his pastor. The message was not one out of faithful loyalty nor steadfast service, but rather it came out of his dogged persistence to argue his viewpoint while criticizing the pastor. Sadly, there are many who feel entitled to their church because of their years of involvement, their title, their contributions, or just sheer arrogance. Whether you are a member, a visitor, a lay leader, pastor, principal, or church worker, such a statement to insist on one's own way and perspective is simply not proper churchmanship. The first step back towards humility is when it comes to authority, whose church is it? The scriptures describe Jesus as the true head of the church. Jesus claims true ownership and makes it clear to Peter, the disciples, and to all of us when he says, Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means the rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. Second step back to humility is to consider what is our role then within his church? Our role is in making our confession. Just prior to Jesus' statement, Peter makes a powerful confession about Jesus' identity. He confesses, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. This confession of faith is the rock upon which Jesus builds his church. It is his church and our confession. How does this truth shift your approach to being a member of Christ's body, the church? How high do your complaints, expectations, and directions pile compared to the number of your confessions, your testimonies, and your witnessing to the Lordship Christ? How does this truth challenge the earthly power struggles found within congregation? When it comes to the way you will show up to Jesus' church, what will your confession be? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, forgive me for the times I have forgotten that the church belongs to you. Replace any entitlement that may be in my heart with a stronger confession that you are the Messiah, my Lord and my Savior. Build your church and lead her to victory over the gates of hell. And may your name be lifted up in all of your church that many more may come to salvation. Amen.